How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. We've newly relaunched as the gym channel. A real short episode for you today. I'm taking you through a unique workout that I sometimes throw in. I'm gonna call it the arm blaster. I've got my buddy Tom here today. He doesn't want to be in the video, but he's got no choice. But enough of that, without further ado, here we go. Okay, so once again, welcome back guys. So we are at Physique Fitness again. Thank you, Mark, for letting us use the gym. So today I'm gonna to show you what I call, like say my arm blaster workout. It's a version of the DTP workout that I picked up from Chris Gethin. If you don't know that guy's one of my favorite natural bodybuilders slash sports person. Essentially what we're doing is a big pyramid workout. It's really good for just getting a quick pump and it's a good way to grow your arms and just throw it in every now and then. So I'll list it here, what we're doing, but essentially we're just supersetting two machine exercises of these machines because it's easy to change the weight quickly. We're doing quite high reps and high volume. So we're starting with a set of 50 reps, then the next is 40, 30, 20, 10. So obviously you're getting heavier each time. Pick the weight that's appropriate. What you're gonna do is push each set to failure. You can get away with that because a lot of the sets are high repetitions, so we can get away with it. And let's say you're gonna superset these exercises. So let me show you what we're doing today. Just before we jump in, guys, I do need to clarify, I made a little mistake. Said our first set was gonna be 50 reps. We do that on legs. We're actually starting with 40 reps today. So that's also gonna be our warm up set. So you don't need to mess around anything else. Just do the first set of 40. It's gonna be your warm up set. Get fluid in your joints, blood in the muscle. You'll be good to go. So let's hit this first set. Okay guys, so let's say we're super set in our exercises. We're doing biceps and triceps. And when you do two muscles next to each other, that's called antagonistic muscle training. And the reason we do that is a good way to just get blood into the whole area and whilst one muscle's working, the other one's resting. So we're starting with tricep push downs, rope attachment, and then moving on to bicep curls. So tricep press downs, quick demo for you guys that aren't quite sure. Yeah. Grab your handles, and then you're just gonna lean forward ever so slightly, keep your elbows still and press straight down, lock your elbows out, and then slowly on the way back up. Okay, so let's hit this first set. Then we hop over straight away to the bicep curl to the ropes and hit another 40. We don't want to squeeze at the top of these ones and control it on the way down, stretch all the way at the bottom. Okay, so remember to take all of these sets to failure or close as possible. If you find yourself not quite getting failure, you're not pushing it hard enough with the weight or the intensity. So after set one, that can count as your warm up. You don't have to warm up before this. You're gonna rest just 30 seconds. It's high repetitions, we can get away with short rest time. Rest in 30 seconds, then we're gonna hop onto set two, which is then 30 reps, obviously heavier weight. Same with the tricep extensions. Really let yourself stretch out at the top and you want to try and keep your elbows still as you extend straight down, squeeze at the bottom. If you find yourself getting tired, fatiguing before you hit the total number of reps, it is okay to rest a few seconds, five seconds, and then carry on getting the rest of the reps. So once you finish set two, you're gonna increase the rest time just a little bit, 45 seconds before you jump back into set three. But before we do that, I'm gonna give you a quick bit of theory about why this is an effective workout. When we're doing high repetitions and low repetitions, we are tapping into both our fast twitch and slow twitch muscle fibers. So your fast twitch muscle fibers are the big, powerful muscle fibers that make up the muscle belly. Those are what kick off when you're lifting heavy weights or low repetitions. Your slow twitch muscle fibers are the muscle fibers that kick into gear when you start getting into endurance and the higher repetitions. So as we're doing the high reps and moving our way down to the heavy reps, 
We're starting tapping into the slow twitch and then working away to the fast twitch, covering all bases. To get you through your workout, always have a juicy Melba. Reminds me of a girl I used to see. Right, round two, set three, 20 reps, let's go. Okay, so after that set, you should be really feeling the pump now. Take longer rest, maybe I'll go up to one minute this time. Gives us a good rest before we hit our heaviest set, 10 reps. Now, when you're on the heavy weight, obviously it has to be heavy enough that you're hitting failure, but still maintain really good form. You still really want to be squeezing at the bottom. On the bicep curls, I do say try and keep your elbows as still as possible. If you do find yourself moving a little bit like this, just a little bit, that's okay because part of your anatomy works such that your front delt aids with bicep flexion. So they work together a little bit. Okay, so we're done with the first half of the pyramid. Now we're gonna work our way back up. We're gonna switch it up a little bit. What we're gonna do is change both of our exercises, still supersetting, but hitting the muscles slightly differently. So let me show you what we're doing. We're switching biceps to, I'll grab this, a dual cable curl. No handles, I just like to grip it as if it's a hammer grip. And for our triceps, we're moving on to an overhead movement. The reason being is when we do an overhead, we hit what's called the long head of the tricep, the underside. I've got a bit of an injured shoulder at the minute, so I can't do a full overhead. What I'm gonna do is uh, just get on the knees and do a hybrid overhead push like this. So we're at the bottom, I'm not sure if you'd say bottom or top of the pyramid. We just did our 10 reps, we're all warmed up. We're gonna start with this movement on the 10 reps and work our way back down 20, 30, 40. So let's go. So with this movement, remember, really let it stretch out of the back. You've got the weight of the cable pulling your bicep out, so you get what's called a loaded stretch. And when you're up at the front, again, really squeeze and contract. Ow, oh, fucking shoulder. Well, that's not making the cut. So now we're on to the last set, and what you guys are gonna find is you should be exhausted, and you're gonna pick the lightest weight this machine's got, and it's still gonna feel like a car, but that's fine. Just pick the appropriate weight and just get the reps in. Done, finished the last set of 40. When you guys try this, I think you're gonna find you have to really push. You're gonna really enjoy yourself though, get an incredible pump. I've certainly got a real sweet pump. Let's go outside and I'll say goodbye to you. A little easier for me to talk to you guys outside, but that's it. We finished the workout, smashed the workout. The Arm Blaster, my version of Chris Geffen's DTP. If you're interested in finding out about, more about Chris Geffen and his workouts, DTP, give it a quick YouTube search. But understand, don't get too carried away. I don't train like that all the time. I typically will go uh, more basic, so straight sets or heavier weight. But this is fun to throw in now and then. It's definitely exciting, especially if your workout's getting stale and it is effective. So get some protein in you to start the recovery process, start the growth process. But for now, that is it. 
hope you enjoyed the video hope you enjoyed the workout hit like if you liked the video it helps us grow the channel remember to subscribe especially if you guys are new i'm trying to pump out a lot of these gym videos very quickly for you guys because i've got a lot of motivation and inspiration to get it rolling now but that is it i'm out of here catch you guys next time hunting fishing loving every day that's the prayer that a country boy prays